back. Um, show you guys something I did to try to save some money. Um, and a simple fix for an issue. So basically, let me grab it. But this is what is your um it's like an emissions thing um i think it's a pcb valve solenoid or something so that usually sits right in here oh sorry that usually sits right in here and bolts down um and then there's an air line and then uh some uh wires run into it but i got rid of it but I didn't have anything to plug that hole, so I basically, I just cut, I'm sure someone else has done this, but I just cut the bottom of that off, uh, filled the hole, kind of used my solder iron to close it, and then I filled the back with RTV. Um, and then I'm just going to bolt that down right where right where that uh, originally was, and that will uh, seal up that hole. It's got an O-ring on it. Um, that way I don't have a vacuum leak right there. Um, I eventually, trust me, plan on getting rid of this intake. I think they're hideous. Um, I know they work well, so I just don't want to spend money on another one right now. I really, I like the car intake. The, I know it's plastic, but I like that. And uh, I don't know. I kind of like the Holly one, but um, I don't think I want to spend the money on that. Um, there's my water pump. Um, I'm going to end up cleaning it all up, but... Um, First, I am going to drill and tap and put this um, vent in for the steam vent. Um, that way, steam will run down from my heads and we exit out here or down out the heater. Um, so, that's the game plan. Um, I kind of filed it so I get a little flat surface. Um, center punch it try to get that centered um, nothing's around there that I know about so uh, I don't think it's an issue I'm trying to think of um, yeah nothing should be running right there um, I will show you on so this is how the uh, throttle body sits your steam vent usually runs up through here and over I'm not sure if that's um, mandatory or not but uh i'm going to put this as far over as i can just in case i'm guessing what it does is just kind of heat up your throttle body so it doesn't stick um if you're in a really cold area um i feel like i read that before so i mean it that's the same concept of the passover on my um on the 67 long bed old woody um the exhaust runs up and over keeps your car real warm so, I'm going to clean this, uh, punch, and I bought drill and tap, quarter inch, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Alright, give you guys a little tour um, of my wiring harness, I'm working on it in my room, which is a mess, um, but I'll show you guys, it wasn't it's challenging. It was, I mean, it's challenging, but it's just tedious. It took a long time. So, this is it. This is my fuse block. Um, I got one of these. I guess it's eaten, but I thought it was a buzzman or something, but who knows. Um, I have three relays in here. A um, bunch of fuses. I wired the back. Um, this is my OBD2 port. Um, here's all my connections that go into here. Um, except for, like, uh, power from the battery. I, I ran my um, I ran my power for my fuel pump and my fan separately. I want to make sure those always have good power. So I have four fuses um, running in. I have my harness. This is gonna ground my harness out. Um, this turns my fan on. Um, this turns my harness on. Um, and this uh, triggers the relay for my fuel pump. Um, you know, there's my uh, connections for the PCM. Down here, this this uh, mounts to my TAC module uh, by the gas pedal. Um, so this this 
branch is going to run in, under my dash, you know. Um, attack, which I don't have, um, but I ran it over here anyway. Um, but check engine light, um, key switch, uh, my torque converter brake signal. I don't even know what else is in there. But, I mean, my, uh, uh, my starter solenoid, my speedo, I'm. Uh, there's my gauges. Um, a speedo signal. I'm running the S10 speedo. Oh, temp gauge. Um, I ran a three wire coolant. Um, uh, whatever you. I don't know what you want to call it, but I'm blanking right now. Coolant um, sensor. Jesus. Um, I had a long day working on this, so. Three wire coolant, so two of them go to the PCM, and then one goes back. Um, this is my starter solenoid um, wire. I shortened everything. Basically, my PCM was located on the driver's side, over by where like your master cylinder is, kind of your wheel well area. And I mounted mine. I'm gonna mount it by the glove box. So uh, I had to shorten half of the wires and lengthen the other half and tons of soldering um, but it wasn't that bad whatever I wanted it to look clean so that's what you gotta do um, cruise control wires um, I don't have a switch for that yet but I definitely want to hook up cruise control whenever you do these long drives um, it wears you down you can see what I did basically I went to my friends where my engine was um, laid out where the PCM would be and then used a piece of rope and measured to each connection and I wrote a measurement on on all these and what they are um, I wrapped everything I don't have a loom yet I wanted to see exactly how everything mounts I want to see how thick this is you know that's gonna be a good inch and a half two inch loom or something right there it's gonna come out of my firewall right here that's why I didn't attach this because I need to feed all these in I have to feed these individual to get them through the grommet um, I have a big I have a big grommet that um, um, that came with the harness so I'm gonna run that um, behind the intake kinda try to tuck it down as much as I can so pretty happy done with that um, that was one of my big challenges give you guys a little tour of the fuel system I'm getting my other hose in today um, this is gonna sit in here I tried to open that as much as I can it's a really tight fit but basically uh, oh, sorry I can't pull that out one inch fuel line I think that's 5 16th uh, vent line this is the opening um, hopefully that's enough air vent I I used a smaller one because I wanted uh, I wanted um, to be able to access it from the top. Um, basically, I opened up a hole down there that was already there. Um, these are both going to run up in here and then over to my tank. Um, I'll show you guys a little video afterward. But there's my tank all mounted up. The last one I made. Use those stainless button head bolts. Uh, almost done. I'm installing an electric fan up here. I made a mount that um, it's about three and a half inches tall. You can kind of see, hopefully, in there. Um, I welded nuts on the back of there. That way, you don't have to reach your hand in. I welded nuts on the back of here. Um, that way, you also don't have to reach your hand in. Um, eventually, these wires aren't. None of these wires are going to be up top. Um, so I wanted, I like these little stainless bolts, sorry. I like these little stainless bolts. Um, now I need to figure out the bottom, basically way down in here. Um, I don't have a nice flat surface and I made a mount, but it's way too tall. So I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna do that to uh, bolt in. Basically I made this mount. Already had some piece cut, so I just went ahead and did it. But whatever, it didn't take that long, so it wasn't a big deal. But 
Um, I just wanted to center that. Um, it's a, uh, what a puller fan, a pusher fan. Basically, you can uh, reverse the, the fan blade on there. Um, hopefully that's enough. I've never had issues with this 305 overheating. Um, this aluminum block 5.3, I hear they stay cool. Hopefully they do. Um, I'm gonna run this radiator for now, even though it's leaking all over. Um, just started doing that. But uh, eventually I wanna get a radiator with both the uh, inlet outlet on this side to clean up the engine. Um, there's a tour of the engine if you guys wanna know what death looks like. Just leaking, just leaking oil. Look at all that. That thing's disgusting. Um, it's weak as can be. My fuel line's about to blow out right there. That's pretty cool. I've had this crack in the water pump since I got it, like four or five years ago. So uh, I can't believe it's hanging on. I marked a bunch of these wires, uh, unhooked my horn the other day, took my uh, square dirt pump out, took my square dirt, my coolant. Or not cooling, but squirt her uh, container out. Get some rust down there. Um, marked all my wires. There's tons of wires in here. Like I already snipped some of these, but there's a whole another plug up here for the uh, nice. A uh, whole another plug. Usually these are uh, new regulators on the firewall. But this truck, I don't know, he just bypassed that, hooked up some wires. There's all my hots coming, alternator, what, uh, my battery, I think my headlight power all just comes into this sketchy tape together junction. 